Good morning everyone and welcome to Master Tarot again. I'm back in my favourite spot, yay! Okay, what I wanted to have a look at today, and I think this is actually going to end up covering uh, two readings, so today and, and Monday, um, is I had a question, and I do apologise if I pronounce this wrong, from Laxe Jean, or Lax Jean, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, wanting to know about Germany and Austrian relationships with Russia <clears throat> and uh, Putin's relationship with politicians in both particular countries. So doing some research, which was not easy, and my goodness, I thought uh, our political system was difficult, but boy, we've got nothing on the Austrians. <laughs> um, so I've got a few questions I want to have a look at. I couldn't actually find, aside from the fact that uh, Germany and uh, Austria are very reliant on uh, Russian gas, um, gas and oil supplies for their heating and industry, etc. Heating industry, cooking. For example, Germany uh, is still buying gas from Russia. They purchase 55% of their energy needs from Russia, um, and at this stage, they're under pressure, especially from Poland, to cut those supplies and ergo cut off the money to Russia that those supplies um, produce. But the uh, finance minister of Germany, Chris, Christian Lindner, uh, Lindner has uh, basically come out and said we can't embargo because we cannot substitute the gas and it would absolutely destroy not only the German um, but also the European economy uh, because Germany would no longer have its manufacturing capabilities. So we'll have a little bit of a look into that. Uh, Austria, um, from what I can gather from that, is again not cutting off their uh, gas supplies, uh, although they have uh, the Chancellor Karl Nehammer has, uh, <laughs> my pronunciation is terrible, I apologise for that, has actually travelled to Moscow to urge, apparently, allegedly, urge Putin to um, stop this invasion, stop the war. However, Russia's uh, position is slightly different in that pre-war it was what was known globally in political systems as the safety deposit box for Russian wealth. Uh, they are, they and they have currently uh, declared a neutrality in regards to uh, what side they're going to take. So they're not taking either side at the moment. Uh, the reason being suspected is that uh, Austrian banks are currently exposed to about $17.5 billion of Russian debt. Uh, Pre-war, um, there is was major Russian uh, money in Austria held in uh, hotels and ski resorts and, and a lot of them had their energy, uh, European energy uh, HQs based in Austria. Uh, many of the prior ministers, oh, I'm trying to work out the political system of Austria, uh, but what, from what I can gather, no current ministers are sitting uh, on Russian uh, company boards, etc. But please um, tell me if I'm wrong, because as I said, it's very hard to research all this. Uh, however, there are many prior uh, government officials, high up government officials, are currently sitting on uh, Russian energy boards, their gas, their oil, etc. Um, so whether they still have some influence in the Austria, I'm not sure. Uh, for example, um, one of the top ministers in the Freedom Party, and the Freedom Party was very close to Russia and had its um, a lot of its funding, political funding, come from. Uh, Russia sources but apparently that party itself basically collapsed in 2019 so quite a bit prior so I'm not quite sure where this is all going to lead we'll just have a bit of a look at it what I'll do is I'll record both readings today but I'll post one today and post one on Monday um, so I just want to have a quick look at, at, at the relationship of um, 
of those two countries with Russia currently, their current energies. Then I'll have a quick look at um, Putin. So when, when Putin departs, allegedly, allegedly, entertainment purposes only, uh, will his departure be covered up for any period of time or will there be rejoicing? I want to know whether he is actually being poisoned. Um, he's looking very sickly and I want to know whether he's been poisoned. And then I'll do another reading on the Ogliarch deaths. Oh, goodness me. So what have we got here? The Knight of Swords. There is a harsh truth. And now what was I talking about? Putin being poisoned. There is a harsh truth that's going to be revealed. But the other reading I'll have a look at. Um, seems to be a surprising number of oligarchs falling off the twig uh, in apparent murder suicides, which um, are very suspicious circumstances. And uh, the amount of generals that are being taken out in the battlefield, are they being taken out by Ukrainians? So I'll have a look at that as well. So that'll be Monday. So I'll start off first of all. Uh, we'll take one country at a time. Uh, so apparently um, Austria vetoed Ah, oh, Ukraine becoming part of NATO. So I'll just ask, please tell me about Austria's Austria's position, Austria's government. Now, when I'm talking Austria and Russia, always remember I'm not talking about the general everyday people who just want to get on with their lives and want to have a roof over their head and food on the table. Um, but these are the... Um, uh, powers, those in power, those with wealth, those that make the decisions in regards to these major events. So please tell me about the relationship between Germany and Austria. Now, I had a card that tried to fling out at me but didn't quite make it, which was the moon. Um, so <laughs> that makes I wonder wonder whether it'll come out again. So tell me about the relationship between. Austria and Germany, the relationship between Austria and Germany, just tell me please, relationship between Austria and Germany, Austria and Germany, sorry about my preamble, what am I seven minutes in and I haven't even pulled a card yet, Austria and Germany, Austria and Germany, Austria and Germany, tis my modus operandi, Austria and Germany, Austria and Germany. Germany. Right, let's have a look see. Come on down. <clears throat> okay, Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> it is going to be so as the signifier card. Period of change. Period of change. Um, some fortunes are going to go up, some are going to go down. It is ending and beginnings of cycles. Uh, oh, okay. I've obviously got cards upside down in this deck, which I don't usually read upside down. Um, so I'll turn that up the right way. I think what I've done is I've just put them together the wrong way at some stage. So what we've got there is anxiety. So the destiny of the two countries together is leading to a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just going through my cards here and putting them up the right way. I've obviously put some from a previous reading back upside down. So I do apologise for that. Um, so what we've got here is that um, the actual relationship between the two countries is in for a change as karma is coming to uh, basically bite them on the backside. Um and they are heading for change. So what have we got? Base of the reading. Yeah, it's all about the money. We've got the king of coins. So at the moment with Austria, their relationship with Germany is all literally about finances and wealth. In the past, that they had a very strong relationship. Sorry, it's a bit um, glary in that window. They're, they had a very strong relationship in the past. It was a, a past. It was a relationship built on the mutual strength of both countries that 
the the two countries together were stronger than they were individually but it is past it is past at the moment uh, Austria is facing that they are reaping what they have sown in the past and these past relationships that they've had and it is under review so rest assured what the current um, arrangement with Russia is under review immediate future they will have a choice a difficult choice to make um, but it is choices and it is very much going to be an emotional choice so if you have a look at these um, the choices in the cups you've got you've got wealth morality uh, vanity power etc so they will be faced with a choice i'm wondering if they're going to get an ultimatum which is the word that just sprung into mind uh, the external influences are, um, this is my feminine Zelensky energy. Um, he combines both the masculine and feminine and he is both my king and queen of wands in this In when I'm talking about Ukraine. So they will be under extreme pressure from Zelensky but more so from the inspiration that he brings forward. Uh, the... Um, the example he's giving as to what a leader can be, what a leader looks like, what a leader encompasses uh, in regards to um, how he views the people of his country. So they will be under pressure um, externally from Zelensky. Internally, they will be un also under pressure from the people of Austria. So because of this external and internal pressure, there is actually going to be a change. It's going to be a new beginning. And if we have a look at these two cards, they're actually fire cards. They're energy cards um, uh, based in fire, which we, we uh, uh, attribute to energy itself. And there will actually be a new start and a change. And that is the internal internal influences hopes and fears page of cups there is something to be revealed um, something hopefully quite magical um, because if you have a look at and it is again it, it is an emotional um, it is about relationships but I just love the the look on the on the uh, face of this particular uh, page he is enamoured by what is being revealed in this cup. So it is actually quite a hopeful, hopeful revelation. There is something, okay, the eventual outcome, there is something that is going, the, the plan is going to be burdensome. So I'm wondering if this is because you're entering into your summer, there won't be so much of a reliant on energy from Russia for heating, etc. Hopefully. <laughs> um, but there is, whatever the plan is that's coming forward, whatever is going to be revealed, <clears throat> it is a moving forward. She's using one particular staff as a, um, or one particular wand as a uh, walking staff to help her along. So there is some element of this plan that is assistance, but it is also quite um, burdensome. But everything is packed neatly. And over her shoulder, relatively comfortably, it is just heavy. It is a heavy journey move, moving forward. It will mean, ah, okay, <laughs> this is about um, finances, uh, financial loss, quite significant financial loss and being out in the cold. And the word I got for that was oligarchs when I put that down, which is why I went, oh, um, what I'm seeing is that the, and I'm really hoping that this is how it's going to go because it's, I understand the people in that part of the world are incredibly frustrated with the position that um, Austria have taken. But I'm seeing here um, financial loss um, that with this revelation, with this internal and external influence, this choice being made, the choice will be it will be burdensome on Austria. It's not going to be a, you know, if they stop taking this energy from from Russia, 
um, it is going to be difficult and the people who are demanding that they do that need to understand that all of a sudden there will be power cuts that you won't be able to uh, operate as you are used to um, but I'm really seeing that the they are going to actually join in with the sanctions yeah they're going to join in with the sanctions they're going to um, confine Russia they're going to confine Russia but they're also going to find themselves somewhat confined um, restricted as I said there are going to be uh, you are in Austria going to end up with qu some quite severe restrictions as it's not as easy as sort of turning this gas off here and turning that nuclear power plant on there. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. Um, Germany is talking about extending the life of some of their coal-powered uh, station, power stations, but you know you have to question, well, where is that coal coming from as well? Um, I know Australia sent a couple of um, ships over at no charge to Ukraine so they could keep their power stations operating. Um, but uh, yes, you have to be aware that there is going to, it is going to be burdensome. There is going to be loss financially and practically. And there is also, so this is a double, a double meaning row we've got here is that yes they're going to put embargoes and restrictions on Russia but the people of Austria are going to have to understand that this is if this is what they demand it's going to be difficult there is going to be loss and they are going to find themselves quite restricted the truth is going to be quite confronting for them about how reliant they were actually on Russia. We also then have the victory card. So this is the right thing to do. And then temp temperance, which is about resettling, resettling the balance. The Knight of Wands, there is a plan moving forward. The King of Swords, uh, this is wisdom, uh, technology, truth and power. Um, can also mean legal and investigation but what I'm really getting in this it's just about wisdom and 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 the strength of um, the path that they're taking tower card retreat so tower card retreat and an ending and then and then the Sun full illumination so I'm seeing by taking these steps and standing firm, uh, this is going to end up with a, a, a tower moment, I believe, for Russia. I'm hoping it's not Austria. There will be retreat. It will bring about an, a, an ending. There will be a significant change. But the world is also about unity. So they Austria sort of will come back into the EU as a positive figure instead of dithering on the on the um, knife's edge sort of thing but it isn't an ending and then we have the sun we have the sun and there's my other Zelensky card uh, <clears throat> bringing forward the the coin okay this looks like to some degree the king of cups uh, he's a diplomatic, calm figure, usually my Biden card. But we've got the Knight of Coins, which is a slow, steady, stable, diligent progress forward by this diplomatic figure uh, who is representing the voter. He will have the support Whoever this figure is in making this decision as Austria moves forward will have the support and it will be authentic reform. Now, death is, doesn't mean death. My favourite way of interpreting the death card is authentic reform. So, that I uh, wonder quite whether that is... Um, whether Austria will become more self-reliant. That would be an interesting one. Uh, self-reliant with renewables or if 
becoming more reliant on the EU, its EU partners rather than Russia itself. So it's not dramatic change, but what it looks like to me is that um, the pressure of the people and the pressure of the likes of Zelensky and Poland and others will bring about um, uh, reform in Austria in regards to its relationships with Russia. But the people do need to understand that it is not going to, but once, once this is um, undertaken, life will not be as it was. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, there will be shortages, there will be blackouts, there will be... Um, but, you know, is it the price we pay for what is morally right? Okay, let's have a look at uh, Russia. Let's have a look at... Oh, sorry, Germany and Russia. Tell me about the relationship between Germany and Russia. Now, I when I was looking into Germany... So the former ch Chancellor of Germany, <laughs> this has popped out, the, the truth will be really exposed in regards to this. Uh, so doing my research in Germany, Gerhard Schroeder, who is the former, one of the former chancellors of Germany, is on the board of a Russian oil giant called Rosneft, and he refuses to step down from that, and he has been invited to join the board of a gas giant Gazprom uh, and he has accepted that so uh, Germany is still buying gas from Russia it's uh, refused to stop doing so it's under pressure to stop from all sorts of angles uh, but the finance minister Christian Christian Linde, Lindner and oh, Oh, my Australian pronunciation, sorry about that. Uh, he basically has said Germany cannot substitute the gas. They have no other energy options. Um, I have read previously that the rest of the EU will step up. Um, I'm thinking France for some reason. is right now that Macron has uh, gotten back in power um, and called that one right, thank goodness. <laughs> Uh, but now that Macron is back in power, I really get France and nuclear power. So I have no idea what's going on there, whether the other European nations will step up and supply. They don't have a lot of excess, but uh, they will supply what they can to Germany to... Um, uh, provide energy to Germany basically so that Germany can cut back. So I've read previously on that. We'll have a quick look at that in a minute, but I just want to have a 55% of gas from Russia for heating, cooking and industry. So tell me about the past, present, future relationship of Germany with Russia in regards to energy in regards to gas, oil, etc. Tell me about the relationship between Germany and Russia. Okay, right. So we've got the three of swords, heartbreak, disappointment and loss, but what I'm really got when I flip this over first up being the signifier card is that they're caught in a situation they don't want to be in and it is heartbreaking for them the truth is piercing their heart they are caught in this situation and really they they feel that there's um they've been un, un, involuntarily <laughs> So um, I, I know that they entered these agreements with Russia voluntarily, but right now they feel that they are involuntarily in this painful, heart-wrenching relationship with Russia is what I got from that card when I flipped it over. I don't know if I've explained that quite as, as it sprung into my mind. If I think more clearly, I'll, I'll let you know. Crossed by... Yeah, that's the relationship, that is the contracts they are in, that is 
the binding situation they are in that they are finding really heartbreaking okay so that's quite that is positive because unless it is really dramatically affecting you change does not occur but they it is this relationship that they're in that they are finding extremely um, heart-wrenchingly painful uh, King of Coins exactly the same spot as it was for um, Austria base of the reading it's all about them it's it's all about the money the finances uh, as I mentioned that um, for both countries but mainly for Germany is that if they cut off their gas embargo their gas it basically grinds all their industry to a halt and we know worldwide that Germany really is the manufacturing heartland the industry um, centre of Europe itself um, so it, it's very much about the money in the past, we have the emperor. Oh, excuse me, bit of a yawn there. Um, the <laughs> I do find these tiring, but we'll keep going. Uh, drawing a lot on uh, on master's energy. Uh, in the past is the emperor, which is Putin. He is in the past. Now, hope hope I won't go too long. We'll get get a couple of quick readings in on Putin right at the end there. But this is this is Putin, and if you have a look at this, he's looking away. He's looking away from. This situation that's going on um, he very possibly understands that their relationship is in the past but this is he's very strongly figuring in it in the past uh, temperance crowning the reading a rebalancing now what I got when I turned that over was I saw all these uh, like cables and lines and powerpoints and connections coming in and if you actually have a look at this card sorry about the glare if you have a look at this card you've got all these cables and lines and ropes and and f fabric strands etc coming in to this rebalancing and this is very much telling me about what i was talking about with france france um Switzerland I've been told Switzerland uh, not so much Spain and Italy or Poland they don't have to spare the UK does um, whether they can run it that far I don't know um, also from the stands they're looking at purchasing their fossil fuel supplies from the European friendly stands which were previous USSR countries Sweden I've been told Sweden oh, Sweden figures a lot of my readings I'm quite enamored with Sweden I'm not quite sure why um, but yeah this is telling me that uh, that it will be rebalanced it will be when I don't know um, okay immediate future is the tower so this is the breaking down of old systems to rebuild. So don't forget that second part, to rebuild, new, different. So this is almost, we're reaching a crux point. Now, even if this war ends um, and Putin is no more in whichever form, um, it has, has really been a tower moment for many of these European countries as they realize their reliance on on countries such as uh, Russia so it is a tower moment for Germany okay in external influences abuse of power abuse of power stealing what no longer what does not belong to you this is the invasion of ukraine this is the external influences the invasion of ukraine internal influences is the community support the community coming together the empowerment of the community of germany 
it's a, it can be a celebration card, but to me this is very much a coming together, a, a realisation and coming together under this, this power of these wands and being a co supportive community. Hopes and fears, ending of a, ending of a cycle. Tens are an end, uh, an, a culmination of a cycle. Uh, this is a culmination of realization of the truth of where they stand. Uh, this figure is not actually prone, it is still sitting up, um, stabbed in the back. But I think this is what uh, Germany has realized is that it's been played um, and they have reached a culmination of this cycle of truth. I notice this figure is actually, it's not sitting down. It looks like it's sitting or kneeling. It's actually standing in water. And water is very much about emotions uh, and cleansing. So this is almost like, as, as awful as this card looks, it is a cleansing after the realisation of the truth. And this is, this is a hope. Okay, uh, eventual outcome, High Priestess. So there is an agenda that we don't know all the details of. I'm drawn, so this, these two cards, both Major Arcana. Got quite a lot of that Major Arcana when I look at this. One, two, three, four. Four Major Arcana in this reading. But this is about... Um, there is, there is something going on behind the scenes that we are completely not aware of. And to me, it's related to this, um, this uh, temperance card, this bringing energy in from a different factor. The Ten of Coins, um, which is about intergenerational money. It's also my card for the oligarch. So I'll just see what the next one says. Uh, often my... Okay, this is often my uh, money laundering card or my dark money, etc. But it's traditional meaning, and this is what I'm drawn to today. Is the traditional meaning is the re the building of a solid foundation. Three three parties coming together to build a solid um, domestic security foundation, a practical foundation, um, and I'm seeing this money here so I wonder whether there is money going to be brought forward a culmination of money to build this this solid foundation in the meantime there will be some retreat but it will be a new beginning as things are under review and they've realized they're reaping what they sow uh, and their naivety in regards to trusting Russia. It will also be burdensome, but they are walking away from what no longer serves them and they're on a courageous and faith-filled new beginning with support, with circles of support. And then we have the King of Swords, which is this, um, we had that with Austria as well, uh, a, a powerful, wise, oh, and we've got the Queen of Swords as well, the power, the wisdom, the truth coming forward. And they are working hard behind the scenes. And there will be something that will be revealed. Will be revealed by the government. Their uh, uh, manifesting. This is the hermit. It is manifesting a new beginning. But this is also about... Uh, introspection and investigation. This is considering all options before setting out on their journey. Oh, things will happen very quickly in regards to Russia and the um, on the world stage. They will have to. There will be some defending that will need to be occur that will bring about some anxiety. A decision to be made difficult decision to be made but it will be victorious so I'm not going to um, move from my previous reading that I did on Germany with its with its fuel supplies oh that was ages ago that was uh, months ago um, 
that they are looking at alternatives there are things going on behind the scenes in regards to um, uh, bringing fuel in from other or energy in from other European locations um, and they will have the support for it so I haven't altered my view on that I don't think any shift is going to be as hard on Germany as it is on Austria purely because that's what the cards told me um, that Germany seems to be in a better position than Austria Austria were more reliant on the money and Germany is reliant on the fuel um, on the energy fossil energies etc and okay Fuel is easier to replace than money, is what I've been told, okay? <laughs> because fuel is what makes the money. Money can't make the fuel. Okay, right, fair enough. Okay, now, what I want to have a look at, go back, I've got pages and pages here. Uh, two last questions, because I'm up to 36 minutes already, oh my goodness. Um, will Putin's <clears throat> departure be covered up when it occurs Okay, going to read first, is Putin actually being poisoned? Someone brought that up with me the other day and I went, hmm, I wonder because, boy, he does not look well. There is the speculation that he has bowel cancer. There is the speculation he has Parkinson's disease, but nobody has actually asked whether what is happening to him is deliberate. So goodness knows what poison, because I'm assuming... He has somebody taste his food, um, and it would have to be someone close to him. Um, may not be the case, but we'll have a look. I, I'm getting some sort of pull towards it, though, which is interesting. wonder if his medication is somewhat being doctored. Arsenic or rat is the question. No. Uh, I just want to ask, is, is Putin being... Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Is Putin being, just a couple of cards, is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Speculation, uh, entertainment purposes only. Leapt out at me. Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? That's made me take a back step, those two cards. You know, joking about it one minute, but all of a sudden, is Putin being deliberately poisoned? couple more cards please just to clarify just to clarify is Putin being deliberately poisoned Feel free to fast forward through these bits where I'm shuffling if you want. It's nice to try to bring the right card to the surface and I'm not necessarily shuffling them. Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Two more please, two more, two more, two more. Not 100% clear on, well, I thought I was. This made me take a step back in that truth. Yes, Ten of Wands, end of an era. Also a yes, because it's, um, uh, it's a uh, even card. And you've got this figure moving forward, carrying a burden. Then we had the three of the three of wands, which is about waiting for your ship to come in. 
uh, and a plan coming to fruition. They've reached this crossroads. There is an important decision that needs to be made in this crossroads. It is someone close to him who is playing their cards very close to their chest. Or there is in his inner circle, there is someone playing these cards very close to his chest. But Putin's also very insecure in regards to it. So he's being very wary. I'll just ask one more, please, one card. One card, Meister. Is Putin being deliberately poisoned? Oh, and that's flipped out. And that is the oligarchs. Read into that what you might. Someone close, but yes, the truth. The ending, and Russia's on the bottom. Russia. Sacrificial lamb. A spy in the camp. and unhappy with what they're being offered anxiety there has been an agreement uh, an arrangement an agreement made interesting that it's cups wonder whether it's in a and then the star of hope and the sun Okay, I'll let you interpret those for yourself, but I think they were fairly clearish. Um, and then finally, finally at 41 minutes, and I do apologise it's been so long, will Putin's departure, quotation marks, however he leaves, will Putin's departure be covered up by those close to him while they try and get their house in order? When Putin is finally finished, will those closest to him, where those who are enabling him, cover it up while they get their house in order? While they get their house in order. While the power plays go on in the background. Oh, that was a quick shuffle. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady progress forward. Um, also the mercenary, the mercenaries, uh, actions and consequences. I've had something flip over there. I'll get. I'll go through until that. Those that are closest to him that are in some sort of arrangement. Those that are around him in his circles of support. Again, uh, we've got this. Playing their cards close to their chest. Uh, retreat, defeat, wounded in battle, um, having to retreat and new beginning. So I'm not seeing that it's going to be covered up. One would think if that was the case, I would be getting the lies and deceit and the betrayal and the abuse of power, etc. I'm not seeing that it's going to be covered up, but I'm seeing that they are actually making arrangements already behind the scenes their actions will have consequences um, it, they're, they're making contracts and agreements already within their own circles of support um, they're playing their cards close to their chest for when the time comes and there is a new beginning so I'm not saying that it'll be covered up but I do see that uh, they are already remaking their alliances so to speak okay that's me for today i will eventually get to china's supply chain everything seems to be jumping up and in in front instead but what i'm going to do i'll stop this now 45 minutes and i'll post this um on fr today which is friday and then on monday i'm going to have a closer look at the uh oligarchs that are suiciding in mysterious circumstances and the dissenting generals that seem to be falling like flies on the battlefield. Okay, so thank you for joining me. That was, in some ways it was positive, but it, it is a cautionary tale. Be careful what you wish for, but also just be prepared. Uh, make sure you have plenty of supplies at hand. Make sure that you are 
emotionally and mentally prepared as well for what will happen for those in Austria and Germany. Stay strong. We are sending you all our encouragement and light and be reassured that what is happening at the moment is the start of a new beginning, a new cycle for um, world relations, which will be for the positive. So thank you for joining me and take care. Bye-bye.